Hi, this is DOSBox Mom, and welcome back to Let's Play Champions of Kryn. We've finished resting and healing outside. We've completed all the tests, so all we have left to do is to find just where it is Sir Dargard is buried within the tomb. I think the one direction we have not tried yet is south. So after we tell no to the question here, we're going to turn south. Head east now. The contorted bodies of a squad of draconians li lies. Uh, yeah, a squ No, it should be lie because it has to agree with bodies. I think. Their faces frozen in terror. Spectral minion allows you to pass. Oh, we're not draconians at least. A voice echoes through the room. What does the measure say on duels? Only a knight could answer correctly. Who will answer? Oh, we better let the knight answer. You may pass. Okay, and now... Going west. Another voice speaks. How should a knight act during a council? Who should who will answer? We'll have Rob answer again. You show great knowledge. You have passed this test. Well, that was an easy one. And Rob gained some more experience. Okay, so I guess it was another test, but it's super easy. As long as you have the knight answer. Okay. Hmm. Oh. Well. You have reached the door to the crypt itself. Nothing appears to block your way. So. Okay. There we go. Another spectral minion appears before you. I am the spirit of Sir Dargard. Finally, a knight of virtue has reached me. Now receive your charge that I might rest in peace. We get some treasure. Ooh. Okay, so let's take a look. It's like half a dozen suits of salamnic plate. Of course, only knights can wear that. And a girdle of giant strength. And a plus two long sword. Well, okay. We'll start by giving Rob one of the suits of Salamnic Plate. I suppose the reason why they give you six suits of Salamnic Plate would be so that if you rolled up a party that was totally knights, they could each have their own suit. So we'll have Rob switch from the plate plus one to the ceramic plate. I think those extra swords are just plain old long swords that we picked up from the skeletal knights. So yeah, X looks like roughly plate plus three but it doesn't improve your movement rate the way a regular magical plate would. Okay, and let's have him trade his plate plus one to maybe John. Why not? Okay, and we'll have him equip
Yeah, that improved his armor. And he doesn't have a magic sword yet, so we'll have him take the longsword plus two. And in fact, we'll have him equip that right now. May come in useful. Then, who shall we give? Yeah, she's got the Gauntlets of Ogre power on. Okay, let's see if Arya can take the Girdle of Giant Strength. suppose we could always try. Yes, it works. And <laughs> look what that does to her strength. She is one turbocharged kinder. Okay, well. Might as well bring the Salamnic plate back to the outpost if we can. Well, let's make sure nobody's too overburdened. Yeah. Yeah, looks like we're all good. Congratulations, Robby. A sign passes to the tomb, and then all is silent. The spectral minions have been laid to rest. You feel healed. Oh. Was there more treasure? Okay, so we can now start heading back out. Well, I think we should save first. After we answer the copy protection question. Seventh word after the heading combat on page 10 of the rule book. Let's try active. All right, so let's start heading. Oh no! A party of draconians bars your way. One steps forward and speaks. We have always failed to reach this sanctum while it was guarded by the ghost. Thanks to you, we'll take the treasure. They attack. Okay, so let's see what we've got. We've got Bozax. Oh, sure. <laughs> Bozax and Kapax. The Bozax can cast spells. Yeah. Well, Let's see what we can do. Okay, John, I want you to attack the Bozak. Let's see if we can get the Bozaks to explode and do some damage to the Capax next to them. Mm. <laughs> we just got a Capax at least. Now, Rob, you are going to use your bow. No, you're not going to use your bow, because there's that Kapak right next to you. Oh, rats. Oh, well, it was a thought. An ignorant thought, but it was a thought. 
Okay. Eddard, you will use your bow. Okay, I think that's the other Bozak. Yeah, if you can't take a spellcaster out outright, the next best thing is to at least damage it so it can't cast its own spells. Bozak exploded. All right, Rob, time for you to use your bow now. one square forward. And then the series. And then an aria. Of course, we want to take out the box fairly quickly because not only do they leave puddles of acid when they die, their acid spit has a paralyzing effect on its victims. Okay, so I think we're done at battle. <sighs> yeah, I suppose you can switch back to your sword. Okay. And a bit of steel. Okay. Now, since we've completed all the tests we've met Sir Darkhard, we can try resting anywhere now, but there's a good chance we might be interrupted by draconians. So we'll see how it goes. Okay. Viserys gets one of his fireballs back. <sighs> oh, that went better than I th that than I thought it would. We were able to fix and memorize spells without getting interrupted. But now we have to work our way back to the entrance and then report back to the outpost. Okay, we're in the main part of the tomb now. All we have to do is to get back to that entrance. Yeah. Oh, only one battle against Draconians. Wow. Okay, and we'll head back. Oh. Out. 
outpost. Our courier to our southern outpost has failed to report in. We have to relay them the information you've discovered. The base lies between Sanction and Naraka. Okay. Good luck and Godspeed. He hands you a map and you record it in Journal Entry 86. So at this point, we have a choice of either going to that ogre base that we learned about earlier or investigating the southern outpost. Yeah, the southern outpost is basically to our southeast. So, oh. I think the ogre base makes more sense right now. Well, let's go to the training hall first. Okay, Rob's promoted to level 5. And Yeah, of course Rob got tons of extra experience because the Tomb of Sir Dargard was especially for him. Ceres will become a level 5 cleric. And Arya will become a level 5 cleric. So good. And let's see if anyone... has lost experience. Doesn't look like it yet. I think Rob was the only one who got promoted this time. The, uh, the only other one, rather. Now, looks good. Oh, okay. And... I think we'll go to the armory next. I don't think we need all these extra swords. <laughs> Not that they're of any value anyway. Okay, I guess we're going to donate the spare suits of Salamnic Plate to the knighthood. Oh. We can sell off the regular plate. And we can sell off John's broadsword. Not that it's worth anything. Oh. Yeah. Doesn't look like there was that much. in the way of treasure other than those last things that we got. Oh. Okay, and that's already identified. Oh, let me check real, real quick. I might just give Eddard a few of somebody else's arrows. That's no big. Oh. 
Okay, to give these to Eddard. And these to Eddard. All right. We actually didn't get that much gold for it, but there's not that much we could spend the gold on anyway. Let's go to the inn. And I think we will rest and memorize spells off camera. I'm sure we'll have learned some new ones. It looks like Viserys will get a bo another bonus spell. So we'll be back in a sec. And we're back. Well, let's have one more visit to the bar. And we'll just start with beer. We'll check the tavern tales, basically, before we head off to the ogre bees. With Sir Dargard's treasure rescued, we're sure to push the Draconians back. Let's relax. I've heard that Karaman has gotten the first elements of the army on the mark. She'll soon be here. Some ale. Your tavern tale 29. Once the armies are here, we'll sweep the area clean of evil for the final time. Yeah. Enemy patrols hold most of the cities in the area. Hope the army gets here soon. It's galling to let them operate so openly. Okay, that's all the tavern tales. Okay, I suppose we can go visit the Commandant. The office is presently closed. The following missions are listed on the duty roster. Okay. Investigate the ogre's base. Relay information to southern outposts. Well, I guess we've been given our marching orders. Okay. And the ogre base should be... to the northeast. Ooh, there it is. You are near an ogre base. Do you enter? You have entered a small ogre encampment surrounding a large fortified manor house. No one is around at the moment. Okay. Well, that's fine with me. Okay, we're in the east wall. We're facing west. Perhaps we want to turn south once we get here. Nothing in particular in these rooms along the outside. The patrol approaches. What do you do? Well, I guess we'll decide what to do. Well, hang on, we can greet we can do something real quick. Uh Okay. Note. Old Ogre. We haven't been given a secret sign yet. Where is the Old Ogre? Oh. 
I think we're going to have to redo the start of this building because apparently the old ogre is in one of the, those little buildings. So basically we'll st restart the ogre base in the next episode. So we'll see you then.